One alternative platform, ladies and gentlemen. All we need is one viable alternative to any of the technopolies, and we will see all of the main platforms suddenly start respecting their users. All of the current tech tyrants followed the exact same pattern. At first, everyone was welcome. Since everyone was welcome, everyone joined. Since everyone joined, the platforms became an essential part of our lives. Once the platforms were an essential part of our lives, they decided that they can tell us what we can think, what we can say, what we can criticize, what we can't criticize, and what we have to mindlessly accept. And they declared that if we didn't obey them, they would crush us. If we decided to think for ourselves, they would cast us out and we would no longer be part of the public conversation. They can only get away with this because they have no serious rivals. There are alternative platforms, but the alternatives aren't nearly as popular. So if your focus is on reaching as many people as possible, you're going to stick with one of the main platforms and not migrate to an alternative with far less reach. The rule makers and content moderators of YouTube and Facebook and Twitter know this. So they know they can get away with acting like complete dictators. But at the end of the day, YouTube and Facebook and Twitter are businesses. They're there to make money. If they ever have to decide between telling us what to think and making money, they'll choose making money. The problem is that as of this moment, they don't have to decide because they can do both. They can tell us what to think and make endless trunks of money doing it. But that only works as long as they face no serious rivals. So what do we need? All we need is one viable alternative platform. If we build one viable alternative platform, everything changes. If there were a viable alternative to Twitter, then anytime Twitter banned someone, they would be sending more users to their main competitor and sending users to your main competitor is terrible, terrible business. When one of the platforms bans someone now, it doesn't really hurt the platform because everyone else stays on the platform. There's nowhere else to go. If there were somewhere else to go, then banning a content creator or influencer would lead to that content creator or influencer migrating to the alternative platform and taking a lot of his fans with him. That would be bad, bad business for the main platforms. So we need an alternative. But even though some of the alternative platforms have been growing for years, they haven't really emerged as serious competitors yet. That could possibly change with Parler, because Parler is gaining a bunch of media attention and a ton of new momentum. Parler is an alternative to Twitter. It was originally pronounced Parlay, but no one likes French, so everyone kept calling it Parler, and the American pronunciation stuck. That's democracy. It's been in the news recently because several big name conservatives have moved to Parler and the platform is inviting big name liberals to join. Is it going to take off? I don't know, but this looks like the best candidate right now. The only way to find out is to use it and see what happens. So I'm going to commit to using Parler regularly, at least through the end of the year, hoping that as Twitter continues acting like Twitter, more and more people get fed up and migrate to Parler. If the momentum continues, three things happen. One, Twitter will suddenly have a change of heart. If Twitter sees its stock prices plummeting and its ad revenue dropping because users are leaving, Twitter's going to start begging people not to leave, and good old Mr. Dorsey will finally start to listen to why so many of us absolutely despise his garbage platform. Two, Facebook and YouTube will also have a change of heart. Once the tech tyrants start seeing one of their fellow speech monopolies bleeding users and revenue, they're going to realize that the same thing could happen to them and they'll start taking precautions to make sure that we don't want to leave. Three, we, the users, might finally recognize what kind of power we have. These companies can write the software and make the space, but we're the ones who filled the space and make the platforms popular. If we were even slightly united, 
These trust and safety teams wouldn't dare cross us because they would get crushed by the people. So sign up for Parlor if you haven't already. The link to my page is in the description box. I'll try to be on there every day. Hope to see you there.